Greetings, family of light. My divinity to yours. Welcome. And thank you to all new subscribers, viewers, and to all returning. My gratitude for your love, for your light, your support, your appreciation, your participation, and the celebration in upholding the light for righteousness, for higher consciousness. Thank you. I have read many, many comments on the recent video on Princess Catherine. I am still going through a lot, for it is a lot to answer, and I have to be very careful about how I answer it as well. I must say that many of you are awake, and it is by no judgment in that reading that when Spirit said, you're asleep, or wake up, that all of you fall in the, into that category. Absolutely not. We are speaking in general tones, and we always will, because they always will be people viewers that come and go and there will be those that will stay for as we've said before these readings are not specific for or the channel only for the royal family and I have nothing personally against the royal family when we walk the path of light when we are striving for light endeavouring for light and renewing for light when we raise our consciousness we become part of light in a very conscious way meaning we live, we breathe, we act we think, we touch, we feel we know, we sense we act in every ounce of our being in a higher way we do make mistakes we do repeat them, but we learn. It is not all able to ingest at once. Can you imagine sitting at a banquet and consuming every single offering that's before you? You can't. So likewise, it will happen in stages and phases as you're able to ingest, to digest and assimilate. And that is not just food. That is every bit of life in its little and large doses, in its variations, in its diversities, in its adversities. So I say with you, please take what Spirit is saying at times with a pinch of salt because you know what resonates and what does not. I do not direct judgment and criticism on this channel to anybody I will speak what is truth and that is why as a family of light we're able to grow and I'm very thankful for many for understanding the point for interpreting the very cryptic grim messages that have come through the various readings to surmise what is happening in a very larger and darker way and again I have nothing personally that is directed to a particular member of the royal family. I am saying what is for what it is. And if it was a family member, I would do exactly the same. For when we want to please others, and we do it because we like them, or we want to be liked, we are not being true. We are not being real. We are not being genuine. We are false. And we fall into the category of being dark because we are not transparent. And if you want transparency in your life and truth, you need to practice it. You need to be real. I embrace the criticism and the judgment and the ridicule and all of the, the naming that goes on on the channel, not wholeheartedly, but I do embrace it. Because if I do embrace it wholeheartedly, it means that I'm accepting of what is being said, and I don't. But I do embrace it because I understand that not everybody is awake. 
people are awakening and this is about awakening and duality is playing out the polarity of light and dark yes and no good and bad positive and negative male and female and so on and so on but again we must use our higher discernment to be able to understand the messages and there will always be the opposite of polarity to see the opposite of polarity so there always has to be dark in which to see light and light in which to see dark they do not work without synergy they cannot work without synergy it is there for a reason it is there as a teacher darkness is your great teacher right but do not become a student of this teacher and graduate with it. You need to learn. You need to grow. You need to understand and experience what it is. And when you do that, you then graduate automatically into light because you understand and you know and you experience what you do not want, what you do not need. We can go on blaming everyone in the world but ourselves and are we true are we honest we're not because we have in essence played some dark role in some lifetime and so when we return into the light we've outgrown those experiences and those experiences do not need to repeat themselves in the way or form or shape in which they have because we have graduated and we've moved a notch higher. So what we are saying is level up. For those that are awake and have awakened, and those that are seeking even higher than that, you will always be evolving, revolving, and moving into higher consciousness. For those that are asleep and in slumber, and when I address that in the comments, it is with respect because you also have a role to play. You are showing the absence of what is. For someone that was asleep and has finally awakened and steps back and thinks, oh my goodness, finally I woke up, finally I've realized. Can you imagine if I was, I was still like that? So can you imagine when you were like that? So let us love each another. Let us spread love and light because that is the only ingredient ever needed in life. And in the afterlife, it is part of creation. Even death is love. For if it is not, then how would you return to embrace a brand new setting? How would you return to experience a fresh beginnings? Everything, absolutely everything is the opposite of one to the other. And it is your choice of what you take from that, how you discern that. All of these false flags, all of these falsities and this false energy, this falseness, whatever you want to call it, is part of the lesson. It is part of growth. Yes, it is not good because it is deception. It is negativity. It is sacrifice. It is a whole lot of darkness. And when you move into the light, you don't embrace that. You don't want that. And hence, some of the people of light then also tend to become too critical and judgmental. But again, I say, everyone, allow those that are asleep the opportunity to wake up, even if it is the longest and hardest road they must travel, for it is only them at their free will and choice, a decision to make to wake up. All we do as torch bearers, as light workers, as way showers, as the light warriors, as the new ages, is to hold the light for them to see. We can and we are catalysts. We engineer change. I personally, part of my soul evolution, this time is to trigger karma. It is not an easy task. Because wherever I am placed geographically, energetically, systematically, the divine asks me to engineer karma. Is part of the many 
many duties I have here. So if you are in my path, whether you're listening to me or whether you have listened to me and wish not to return, I have triggered karma in you. And that is good and not so good. So I will speed up your positive karmic energy and I will also speed up your negative karmic energy. And both are required at this time. You have to empty the glass in which to fill it. So in love and light, we must support and embrace each other. We must understand and accept one for the other. I'm not saying, believe me, I am not saying the wrongs are right. We're not accepting the wrongs. We are rising above it. We are holding the torch. A lighthouse. Where are lighthouses? Lighthouses are built strategically in the most dark and dangerous spots. Why? To steer the ship, to nav help navigate it. So that's what you need to be, are the torches of light, to help nav navigate the darkness and prevent the catastrophe, to prevent the cataclysmic, the apocalypse. It is not to judge them. It is not to criticize, yes. There's a lot of anger and I hear it in your speech and I feel it and I want you to know that this is something I needed to say some time ago but because it was pointed out very clearly today in one of the comments, one of our viewers have said, they just know when I am present or I am around, automatically asleep, their sleep breaks. And that is beautiful and I will come to you I will come to you because I am not just who I am I work energetically and out of body where my soul needs to gravitate to you and help you on your journey I will be there and one day when you wake up fully those that are not you will understand what this is about for many of you that are asleep and wish to be and choose to be, you will return to repeat the same dark patterns and cycles. I had a message to give you today. And this is a message that was coming in one of the teachings that I would be doing, but I have a spirit as fast forward that. And said, let them understand what dimensional energy is. So very quickly, I want to share that. When you are in 3D, which is what we are seeing now, a very matrix, earth-dense, heavy, solid, rigid, linear, left brain way of life, doing, thinking, being. When you raise your consciousness, you activate your right brain, which is your creative. When I say right brain, there's no two brains. It's the left and the right lobes. So please, it's not a giggle. I will just say it as plain as it is. The left lobe of your brain is the masculine, the very linear, the very black and white. I want to be hard about things. I want the old way of working, the orthodox, very systematic, very to the point. It's all well and good, but not to function by itself. It needs to have the feminine aspect, which is your right lobe. And that is the lobe that has been shut off. That is the energy that's been tweaked in your DNA many, many eons ago to keep you enslaved and trapped. And what is the right side about? Very briefly, it is the feminine energy. And it is not gender specific. Whether you're a male or female, you've got to have a balance of both. Men have nipples, don't they? Right? So let me just pacify your mind if you think, oh, it's not for me. It is for you. Right? The right brain is the colorful, sensuous, sexual, harmonious, creative, artistic, imaginative, visionary, sorcery, healing, nurturing, 
maternal part of any human being. In some of us, we have one or the other that overpowers the other. We have to strike a balance. But there will be parts of us at any given time that will supersede the polarity of one to the other and that is acceptable. Not so much that you will always want to be too masculine or too feminine. You've got to find your balance at some point. And the sooner we realize it, the better our bodies function. We allow the energies to channel correctly. So dimensional energy is all about elevating yourself from this 3D rigidity of consciousness that we are to suffer, we're enslaved, we're captivated, we're shackled, which we all know is real, but it is an illusion. It is only an illusion because that is what you're led to believe and support. If you wake up to the light, then naturally you awaken your feminine side, your softer, gentler side. And what happens when that awakens, especially in the masculine energy? You know love, you learn love, you learn compassion, nurturing. Do you think there would be as much f physical abuse on women, on children? Do you think there will be as much war, crime and corruption? No, because you will feel, you will feel in such a way that before you even think the complete sentence you want to think about hurting or harming somebody, it will break you down. And that is when you know you have triggered a part of you that is awake or awakening. And that's how it rolls into one big, beautiful, divine consciousness of energy. So when you move higher, you then begin to enter the lower fourth dimensional octaves, gradually raising higher and higher into the fifth dimension. We are living in varial, various parallel energies right now. It is not 3D only. We have those that are. Your insects, your animals live in 2D energy, but they too are raising vibration and consciousness. Your crystals are in the first dimension energy, most of them beneath the ground, but they highly evolve. So dimensional energy is not restricted to just your level of consciousness. We have fauna and flora and the crystal and the mineral kingdom that are highly evolved, but they're living in lower than you, lower than human dimension of energies. And there's a reason for that balance because balance is needed in many variables. And again, it is not one lower to the other. Na the nature kingdom is fully cognizant of what their work is. There's no divide, no separation, no judgment. But when we get to the 3D, there's a problem. There's a huge problem. So what has consciousness realized? What has the divine realized? We have to raise the vibration and return to the times of enlightenment the times of awareness, the times of knowing, of transparency. Therefore, we need to move out of this timeline and that is where the corruption is. The new light codes, the new templates, the new vortices, the new energetic points on the planet, within the planet, in the oceans, in nature, everywhere, are all wanting to line up. And if we are preventing one line, the entire grid cannot function properly. It's the same as an appliance. If one of your wires are not connected properly, you can't switch it on, right? It's a very same type of understanding in a very simple way that everything must line up for the full grid to activate. And little bits are activating, hence you are seeing what is going on. So what what message that was just a little bit of support to the message spirit said to let you know today is that very often we think about energies or non-physical energies and we perceive that to be floating and moving in the air 
you know, Master Jesus had come to me earlier when I received this message from Spirit as a reminder to say, those that have learned to come to know that I walk on water, yes, I do and yes, I don't. You perceive it as water because that's where your dimensional energy or your consciousness is limited to. But I want you all to know that the spirit world is two feet above the ground. The spirit world is two feet above the ground. And that is why when you see beings of light, they do not stand on the ground. They're above, almost afloat. And you think, oh my goodness. That is exactly where that dimension is. Two feet off the ground. When we pass on, we don't go straight up like an arrow into the sky. We move in parallels. The energy is two feet off the ground and your body leaves the ground, leaves your spirit. When I say leaves the ground, it is now no longer in its upright, right? So it leaves its energy in a sleep and your spirit moves in a parallel energy of channel through the tunnel to the other side. So you go as if you were sleeping on your bed in that direction, parallel, not up, not vertical. So that is the difference between understanding 3D and 4D or 5D. So we are saying each and every one, please, you've got to help yourselves to help the shift. Today's message or channeling will come through from Archangel Michael specifically as part six, right? He's asked me to give it part six so people understand the continuation and the urgency and the importance of this. If you have not yet begun part one, it is very suggested and for your benefit to share it as well to everyone that can help raise individual consciousness, your children, your parents, your siblings, your family, whoever you want to share it with. This is not about promotion. I don't need to do this. I can be selfish, but it is not about that. Right? If I wanted to be selfish, I would not be sitting here and spending hours giving you my energy for nothing. Right? I know it's not for nothing. You are taking lessons, you are taking cognizance of what I'm saying and many of you are making an extreme profound effort in yourselves and it's beautiful and I love that and this is what it is about. You will travel with this group for a long time, many of you, and many will come and join the group because this is our work here. It's not easy to be a student without some kind of teacher so I would just say for now that is what spirit is asking me to do with you is to help you to teach you to guide you to mentor you and take you forward and I am learning from you too I am no uh, perfection right I learn from spirit too I've got to remind myself to shift my consciousness from the higher realms and come down and be normal here it's not easy to make such a switch and a shift constantly, several times, day and night. But I do it. I do it. And I do it with love. And I thank you for all your love and protection for me, for the channel, for each and every one of you, for your families, for the planet and what is happening at this time. So today we will be doing a visualization and I do not know what the lint would be. And clearly we've gone quite a lot into time, but it is necessary and part of the teachings. And Spirit is saying, take what resonates, help yourself through this, for only you can be responsible for you. Many of you are here 
specifically for this time. We've said it before, and for those that are new, if you are drawn to this message, to this channel, it is by no coincidence. Because when I set up this channel, I said to Spirit, I'm doing this. There is no, there is no reason for me to feel an obligation to do this. I'm doing this out of love and light, and that is what I want here. I want love and light. But yes, you will get this and that. And I said, yes, I know I will get this and that. But that will just be a 0.001%. The rest of will be the light. And that is my goal. If that's where we're going, I will set up the channel and I will help. But I will not be wasting my time and energy if it's not going to be that. And I was assured that the ones that will come, the ones that are here, will be of quality, will be of vibration, will raise the vibration, and will help each and every one of us as a collective to help the planet. I want you to know this is not about me. It is not even about the next person in your family. It is about you because you will return. You will return. There's a lot of work to do. You will leave this world, you will take another life and you will return. For those of you that have incredible karmic baggage, for those that are almost cleared in this particular lifetime, will move to the new earth. There is a new earth that's been created in the fifth dimension. And many of those that have passed on that are enlightened enough will not be returning to this particular earth. They will be moved to the higher dimension, which is the 5D consciousness. And if you want to get there, where there is only love and light and no problems that you have here, then you need to help yourself. Those that are putting in the effort, Spirit says, we see you. We know you, we watch you, we guide you, we protect you, we thank you. And those that are trying, we are doing the same. And those that are still fast asleep, all we can do is stand there and watch you. For everything is in front of you, but you choose not to. So I want you now to bring your consciousness into its quiet space. For those that have been doing the parts would understand how we begin by quieting our mind and setting the intention for solitude, serenity and this alone time with ourselves and the divine. As you begin to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth in light and out any fatigue and worry, breathe in light, breathe in peace, breathe in love and breathe out all of your concerns, your worries and your stress and everything that disturbs your mind and your heart. Leave it all behind and say, please, Allow me this time with the divine. Do not disturb me. We will deal with what we need to, if it's necessary, at a later time. And you will find that as you do this in your meditations, in your quiet times, in your relaxation, in your blending and, and, and working with your inner child and your your higher senses, your disturbances and distractions will almost come to zero. You won't have them because spirit respects what your requirements are and your soul will help you make the necessary environmental changes to prevent disturbance. Those that still complain that they cannot hear me, I must say to you, I have to exert my voice 
every time I channel a little bit higher, so you can hear me. And when I leave this seat at the end of it, I barely have a voice. And it is with love that I do what I do. So when I sound a bit low, please double check your devices or quite in your surroundings or put on some earpieces and, and try and make the effort to allow yourself to listen at a lower vibration or frequency in terms of sound so that you are able to raise your consciousness and, and vibration to hear what is soft because spirit doesn't shout spirit doesn't scream out to you well they do energetically but you don't hear them they're constantly rambling in your ears in your space but you don't hear them because of all the exterior disturbance to listen to a meditation, to listen to a reading that I may put up, you cannot do it in a rowdy place because my voice is giving you healing out of my love, out of my heart. And to benefit from that, you have to be. It is best that you are in a quieter environment to take that in. It's not just about the Catherine reading or the William reading or the Archangel Michael reading. It is also about the vibration and the frequency the message is bringing you that you can capitalize on. So there's a lot of selfless work and energy being done without your awareness and knowledge. And some of you that are able to feel me, and like the one viewer did, you're raising your vibration high for me to make contact with you. I will only come to you when you get to that level. But I will constantly be your guide. Because if you are in this group, then you become part of my light lineage. My light family that I need to oversee with the guidance of spirit. I don't take... I don't take full credit for everything I'm doing. But I do it with love and I do appreciate you all understanding or those understanding that it is not intentional for me to speak softly and lose your traction. It is not. So I make every effort in every reading to tr try my best to bring up the volume, but it is not always easy. I will go to the lows and you will need to pay attention. So let us continue. Quieten your mind, become aware of your breath, your body, as you lay comfortably in your position, either sitting or standing, or lying down, shutting off the world and creating that beautiful Archangel Michael protection that you were given. And if you haven't yet come this far, Visualize a beautiful blue light beginning to fill the room or your space. Today, we will be doing a very powerful, a very unusual And a very sudden request by Spirit, by Michael, and that is slaying the demons. So I ask each and every one of you to be brave. If you feel this is not for you yet, then you may stop here and return when you are comfortable those that are brave and strong and are the warriors and the torchbearers, for those that feel confident enough, you may continue. Your room, your space is filling up with the beautiful cascades of many shades of blue from light to dark. As you raise your mind and consciousness, you can breathe in this blue light and exhale it 
into your space further enhancing and affirming and solidifying in a very fluid and energetic way your protection a cloak of light a bubble of light an oval of light a merkaba of light a pyramid of light whichever feels comfortable whichever feels easy for you you are not to stress i need you to prepare yourself mentally emotionally physically spiritually to be ready to do this i know some of you are excited it's like i can't wait to be part of this and i love that i love your enthusiasm there are some that are a bit afraid but rest assured you are protected all you need to do is just help yourself to bring it into your vision and i now call up angel michael divine archangel michael saint michael the prince of the higher dimensions of light the one that sits the one that heeds the one that works with the divine and supreme creator the one we respect and love i call upon you divine warrior of light truth and justice of shielding and protection please come through now in your countless forms and protect each and every one that is participating in this exercise in the sect of nobility in the sect of security we are spiritual security officers light warriors or we are taking the lead and empowering ourselves to tackle to handle to end what we no longer want in this world and as michael archangel michael the prince of angels the prince of the archangels the ascended masters and that holds rank in many many realms of light and dimension celestial galactical we call upon your unlimited beautiful expressions of light to come in now begin to visualize to manifest in your presence in your space majestic and gorgeous radiating such a luminous sapphire blue tinged with purple shades of light and as he raises his hands over you he places them them over the already created energetic light protection shield and reinforces it and says i protect you and i bless you and you are firm i am protected and i am blessed and thank you archangel michael great angels beloved brothers and sisters of light it is i michael the archangel i come to you on the ray of sapphire and violet purple and a few flecks of gold draw in my light and begin to feel this love filling you up reassuring you that you are safe and protected for i am with you and always will be i am a call and a thought away i ask you to be brave to be confident and to trust me and i thank you very deeply
for taking this call, for standing up with all of us, for it is you on the ground that we need ever so much to line up, to unite, to circle together, that will help form the great grids of light that are needed to shatter the old and the dark that have plagued your centuries in your world for centuries in your world that have dominated and controlled in many institutions and not particularly the one that we are all having a bit of a battle with right now that is playing out for very many reasons that is one institution playing out there will come many more today I will take you through a very powerful process that will give you an idea of how we in the non-physical are fighting off the negative, the demons, the dark, in your ethers, in your astral bands, outside the circumference of your planet, in your galaxy, your constellation, as well as in the far off worlds. But my great brother, Ashtar, Shuran, of the Galactic Light Federation that is known to this channel is Commander Chief but we will address that at a different time but you now are the warriors on the ground today I asked you to bring into your vision the chaos that is going on in this world however you wish to visualize or conceptualize or perceive it to receive it please bring it into your mind whether it be a shadow a shape or form or lots of it the dark energies the dark entities in your world are not just humans I must tell you there is only 0.01% of humans on this planet there are many, there are more than many, that are humanoid from DNA of reptilian and draconian. It is purposed and has been for eons of time that these entities have filtered through your planetary system and taken over your planet and control you and that is why there is so much darkness and so less light because only a few of the light workers are working tirelessly endlessly continuously consistently to help shatter this and you wonder why it's taking so long for justice on your planet it's taking so long for the good to come and now I have told you the one I work through is very familiar with what is going on the one I work with has been helping this planet for a long long time like others and now we've asked for your help are you going to step up step in and step up and if you do and some of you are I thank you the divine thanks you the earth the beautiful earth mother earth oh she thanks you for every ounce of her being because we need to save her she's a being of light an incredible feminine body that has opened herself out to offer you life experience Lifetime after lifetime, she's exhausted, she's abused, she's extorted, parts of her are extincted.
and it is all the doing of the dark. Can you imagine how little light there is for so much darkness? And this is why people are suffering. This is why the world is what it is. But I must tell you that the light is taking precedence. The light is prudent. Because the ones that have been carrying the torches that you do not realise or recognise are the ones that have been helping you along the way without you realising it. They don't have to meet you. They do it globally, collectively, consciously. So if we say, help us, we mean it. We're not wasting your time. We mean it because we want a better life for you. Your earth is played with so much darkness. There are clouds and clouds of it in control everywhere. I have given this particular channel an explanation to what she put forth a day ago, two days ago, a year ago, months ago, many years ago, I would get to the same answer. So I've now given her permission. She doesn't need it though, because when she channels, even without me, she channels. She will bring you that message in another reading. So remember what I am saying. It is part of the darkness, but she will explain that in her next reading. So bring into your vision now all of these entities that are probably half man, half beast, reptilian, draconian, because these are the true energies behind the human cloak. And many of you have them in your families, in your workplaces. They're everywhere at different vibratory levels. The ones that are so prominent and shape-shifting and transformative and very dark and ritualistic are the ones hidden from you, but they lurk. And they are the ones that keep maintenance over what is going on in which to gain their power. And they use the earth human beings, the earth human vessels as harvests for their youth, for their longevity, for their maintenance and support, organs and blood, your DNA. It is disgusting, it is despicable. At the same time, it is telling you what you've been oblivious to for eons of time that is going on right in front of you, metaphorically, and you're unaware of it. Because we believe everything we're fed, we believe everything we see, we believe everything we're told, and that is called enslavement. That is the poverty of the mind. Poverty consciousness is not just about not having money, it is about losing your mind to a lower frequency. Some of us willingly give our mind to lower frequency. Claim back your power. I will now hand you
specially for you, uniquely for you, for this particular exercise. A sword of light and truth. So, with your dominant hand, I want you to receive a copy of an energetic sword with strikingly blue energy flowing from it like little lightning frequencies different shades but they will all do the same work it may feel light to some it may feel heavy to some it may be very large for some or just the right size it is your vibration receive it and resonate with it as I place it now in your dominant hand and your non-dominant hand will support the rest of the sword. I want you to greet the sword and welcome it and say thank you sword of truth Archangel Michael the sword of truth that I am receiving now with your grace your love your protection and your honor deeply honors me to hold this in my hand for I will now with all others that are listening and you fight off these dark and demonic energies I want you all to imagine that around your planet is a dark web that interlinks and intersects and interconnects with every other point or joint tightly controlling the planet the people and life in every way And I want you now to raise your consciousness as I elevate each and every one of you to surround the planet firm with your sword ready to cut this web of darkness. Start cutting it, all of the joints. And do not do it with anger, do it with love. I use the sword of truth and justice in the vibrations of love and light, the benevolence of Archangel Michael now to cut away the web of darkness that surrounds the planet and release the planet from this dark evil hold and as you begin to cut all of the joints like a hot knife through butter energetically you just have to touch you don't have to work just touch the tip on that particular joint place it there and immediately those parts become disintegrated and light begins to show wherever you cut begin to see sparks of light being received from our light families in the non-physical to replace those dark pockets that dark web I'll give you a few more moments and know that I am with you, brave warriors of light. And as you do this, keep in your mind that you are raising the consciousness of the planet and the people 
and all of creation into the higher frequencies of ascension. I know that you all cannot get around the globe at the same time, around the planet. There are many of you and each one is doing as much and as best as they can. And we do see what is happening. It is beautiful and we thank you for you are the true warriors of light. And now retreat your sword in front of your heart with a point vertically to the heavens to the cosmos with both your hands and look into the sword and take in the blue light through your eyes as you allow this light to awaken you more to clarify and purify your physical lenses and activate your non-physical lenses your intuition to see truth and justice in everything very gently I bring you back to the earth mantle and all those dark entities that you have seen in whatever shape or form in a shadow in a mist I want you now to use the sword by pointing it not into the being into that dark energy but through it take your sword and bravely like a warrior armored in light I want you to stand before these beings and say you are now being returned to where you come from and Archangel Michael will escort you to that destination you are not required on this planet we do not need your service or your energy we are of love and light and that is all that can remain and will remain in your own words Pierce the sword through the entity and that energy begins to disintegrate into nothing and disappears. And do that with as many as you can, as much as you can. I want you to go into the various institutions on your planet governmental, medical, pharmaceutical, the food, economics, educational, institutional, I want some of you to go beneath the grounds of some of these majestic buildings that you are familiar with that are aware of certain practices taking place and I want you to send your light there with a the sword and ward off all of these entities and bring closure to these chapters of underground networking of crime and violence of child and sex slavery of women and children abuse of organ harvesting human harvesting of various types of cloning of child labor of ritualistic 
satanic demonic practices of the powers that be that are hidden underground and their doubles on the planet. You need to visualize and shut down all of these systems, the drug factories. All of these energies are supported and financed, owned, instructed and dictated and executed by the elite in every country. It is a network that is rife. It is a network that is owned and controlled. And it is those very ones that will stand before you and say, bring the perpetrators to book when they are the cause of it. They are utilizing innocent people, innocent victims to do this on the ground work and get arrested so that you can see an arrest is made. But where is the root of the problem? You do not know where it is. Well, most of you don't. Now you do. We are reiterating what a lot of you have had intuition on, recently come into awareness of, and many of you will now awaken a little bit more. Everything that is taking place in your world, on your world, within your world, and off your world is strategic. And all the powers that be are in full awareness and practice and engineering of it. A simple man on the street cannot begin a business that reaps such a high finance or turnover if he or she is not a minion of the dark. You cannot accrue that kind of wealth by doing little to nothing. There are people that are working long, long hours, some keeping more than one job in which to make ends meet, and you still cannot. Does that make any sense? So I want you to know who's behind the ones that are running in front for them. It is unfortunate that these ones that are running, or the forerunners, are so brainwashed by believing there is a great pot of gold waiting at the end of it. Most of them are executed before they even get to that. Because we cannot have whistleblowers now, can we? So when Specific phases of specific tasks are complete. The ones that were the forerunners are executed. It is very sad and that is what trafficking is all about. It's about creating a lot of those type of forerunners to do that kind of slavery. So there is a puppet master playing the strings. So get down there and clear these and shut it off. That's what we want. When these old systems start shutting off, which they are doing, a lot of it has been shut off by the light. We have shut, shut down and closed off many, many underground operations that you are not aware of. See yourselves rescuing these children, bringing them out, unlocking the doors once you've shut down that operation, unlocking the doors by magic, the sword will open up all of these jailed areas, these imprisonments, these shackles, these blindfolds, these handcuffs, 
and release the people, the children, the women, the elders, from this dark and demonic practice. Shine your light, each and every one of you. I want you to all come together now in a circle of light, visualizing that you are holding the next one's hand and the next one's hand and you form this majestic circle of light. Your one hand and one sword, one hand and one sword. And there will be a gap between and that is for a reason. And where the gaps are is where the light will flow. Where your sword is, is where the gap will be because that is a hand that you are holding the sword with and cannot hold another hand with that particular hand. So the hand with the sword is now what you will all point and create a pyramid with. So each and every one of you point that sword diagonally in front of you raising the sword and pointing it as if you would point it to the sky but at an angle, at a right angle, and it will appear almost diagonal. And every one of your swords pointed in that direction creates a beautiful vortex at the apex of each of the swords, becoming little balls of light that flow into each other and coalesce. And they merge and grow into this massive, blue purple ball of light and that is your sword your ball created by the sword of truth and justice I want you now to take the tip of your sword and tap the bottom of that ball of light as if you would do a balloon and see it gently begin to float above a little bit at a time until it is completely off your sword and begins to rise above higher and higher and you watch it move into the ether above the clouds and higher and higher it is massive it is brightening up every space every crack every little crevice every dark corner every grain of sand is beginning to brighten as this light is shining as if the sun is rising that is how this light is brightening up and what it is doing now is getting ready with your intention pick up your sword and with thought and intention from your hand and your mind send a lightning bolt from the handle through your breath up to the tipping point of the sword and send that energy into the bubble of light or the ball of light to burst and it does it very soft and gently and there are millions and millions and countless little dots of light that explode out of this and it is now falling like raindrops over the entire planet and over each and every one every animal every building every bit of nature and dis 
integrating all of the darkness and that is the greatest blessing heaven is so happy in cheering each and every one of you now for this magnificent work of slaying the demons and removing the darkness as we begin to consciously partake and participate in this particular activity of light we are moving the paradigms the shift in consciousness at an accelerated rate and you are welcome to do this exercise as often as you want for every one of you at different times adds to the collective droplets of light you can do it on a smaller scale by going into one particular institution one particular building one particular country one nation and you can do this and then you can raise that ball by yourself you don't need everybody but the more the merrier and yes shatter this web is now shattered energetically we have done a lot today and it is quite heavy and draining but I want you to know we have made tremendous progress I want you to know that each and every one of you that felt in insignificant or not good enough change your thoughts for you are very valued you are loved beyond measure and I will always be at your side helping you through this process to progress into light when we do work for a higher consciousness it not only affects us personally in our karmic activities, it also helps the greater, the grander. For you become the selfless light bearers of service and your name goes down in the halls of memory on the other side. But it is not for that particular reason I ask you to undertake these activities it must come from your heart from a higher place so loved ones I ask you now to bring your consciousness back as I bring you back in the vibration of love into your space both feet on the ground standing facing me Some of you have tears rolling down your cheeks, your eyes welling up, for it is a great, great sacrifice and a great, great blessing indeed. I look into your eyes and I say thank you and I bless you and I place my hands on your shoulders and I power you with strength and courage and more bravery to be the warriors of light. It is from here that ascension will take a whole different meaning for you. It is through this portal of light and energy that you will be able to travel into higher frequencies and become the star of your show to become the stars on the planet and to be the twinkling stars in the night sky reflecting that love onto the earth I now ask you to hand back to give back to me that beautiful sword for whenever you need to use it you go through this process specifically how it's given on this channel 
and every time you do, you will heighten your vibration and draw me closer. And as you return the sword and you bow your head in gratitude and prayer, not specifically to me, but to the sword of light, for it's an energy of divine creation, and all energy comes from the Supreme Creator. I thank you, I love you, and always will. Gently bring your consciousness back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes to ground yourself. As you breathe in and out, becoming aware of your environment. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes to a brand new moment. And affirm, I am love, I am light. I am in my I am presence. I am protected. If you have water, you may drink water. You can do it. And I intended to put that card up before we began, but I didn't because Michael needed you to focus on him. And with the candle flame, that energy was creating a higher vibration of luminosity. So you may enjoy that beautiful view now while we ask Archangel Michael to bring the group a few messages and guidance. Divine One, the being of sword and truth, that is blessed with so many gifts from the Divine Creator, the one we love and trust, the one I adore. Decide to be happy now. Thank you for helping me. Open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Many of you are deeply sad and saddened by what is going on and that is expected and accepted to a certain degree. But we ask that you do not be overcome by this in a very grief and distorted and depressed way that you forget to be happy. We need you to laugh, to smile, to be happy, to be healthy because we need you as warriors. We cannot have a depressed warrior. You will not be able to, to function at your fullest. So please, wear the crown of light, wear the cloak of light, and hold in your breath and in your heart, in your consciousness, happiness, love and joy. And this reiterates being healthy. Focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my action, actions so they support my well-being. Keep your mind healthy, your thoughts healthy and your body automatically becomes healthy. Ensure you are eating and drinking from a higher vibration. We're not asking you to make drastic changes to your diet, but we are asking you to become conscious of what you're eating. Find out where it's being made, how it's being made, and what preservatives and colorants are in it. For all of these additives are to shut off your right brain. We have said before, that everything that tastes nice is not necessarily healthy. As light workers, the higher you vibrate, the more psychic you become or intuitive you become. 
and to vibrate higher means you need to eat lighter, drink lighter, think and be lighter. Spend more time outdoors. This is a repeat for many of you. To receive your boost from nature, to recharge your batteries and have free Wi-Fi. Because nature is always connected. You will never go out of nature's signal. You will never find yourself in a place where you have to compete for anything. Nature is peaceful and kind and ever giving and sharing. You will have more than enough in nature. Innocence, dear garden angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and my actions. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so I may be at peace. What you did was holding the light. And when you hold the light and you share it with everything on the planet, every little creature is in gratitude. And thanking you from lifting this darkness, for they too are evolving. And they too need to vibrate and switch their light switches on. Every single kingdom has an oversoul that overlooks and guides. And each of these creatures becomes suppressed by the darkness. You get animals that behave crazy. You have crops that suddenly are infested. Why does it happen? Because the alignment of energy has changed, the frequencies have altered, and everything, are ha everything is having its seizure. Think about what I said. Anything else, Michael? Any other messages? Take your time making this decision. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So if you are at the crossroads or at a junction and waiting to make a right decision, you're being asked to use a great amount of insight and patience and higher discernment through introspection to make that decision. Nothing in haste, for it is waste. The only difference would be is you might miss an opportunity that would, would be a little bit better than the one that is coming. But if you are not ready to take that opportunity, no matter how good it is, you cannot execute it in its totality. So there will always be the right time in your mind. Ask for help and it shall come. Spirit says, I did not read this message to you, but it was a card, a message given previously in a different reading from one of the series. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Pretty much what I had said. Some of you are, I'm not a nature person. 
Well, you need to become a nature person because death is where you're living on earth. It is natural. You have borrowed every part of nature without knowing it that is in your vessel. Every element, every mineral from the earth and the stars. So if you think you are not a nature person, then you must be a mechanical device. And that is said in love and light. For that is one of the topics that will be discussed very briefly in a future read. We cannot give you everything at once. You will not be able to do anything else but sit here for hours. You created the situation and you have the power to change it. This is a repeat message. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. You have the power to transform, to transmit, to transcend. You have the divine spark that you can play with to flicker or you can light the flame and let it burn. You can drop a little drop of light or you can light up an entire room or the earth. You have the power to change any situation that you put your heart into. We've just done a great power work by slaying the demons that was bringing it in your consciousness and changing the dark into light. And likewise, change dark situations in your life into light. Be firm for what you believe in and what you're standing for. Is there anything else? One more, perhaps? I have. Yes, I have, he says. It's time to leave unhealthy situation, this unhealthy situation. And this is about this in a nutshell. You have the power to change anything and everything from dark to light. So if you're not happy in a situation, it is time to leave it, either physically or metaphysically. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. If you are dealing with addictions and influence and negative people, you have a choice to release that. You have a choice to shut that off in a loving way. You have a choice if you can move out of that situation physically. Whatever the little changes are, it will have a domino effect for the greater change. We're not asking you to uproot your entire life and go and do something completely different. We are saying the little changes lead to the larger ones. And, and I must say that a lot of it begins with you personally. We, we often want to say, it's the spouse or the sibling or the parent or the child or the teacher or the worker or the colleague or we always want to say it's everybody but us but what is the reflection what is the mirror effect we need to look at ourselves closely and see what is it that triggers us what is in within us that causes that trigger or is allowed to trigger and that is where the change needs to come or start. Let go of fear now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. 
Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic and ego-based thoughts or feelings. I want you to hold this vision because this is a perfect vision of light, the opening and activation of your intuition, the sword of truth and I behind and with you as you undergo any type of clearing, shielding, protecting or slaying or slashing of negativity. Beautiful ones, I take my leave and I return you to the one I speak through. I love you and I bless you and I thank you. Hello family, it's been a long, long, extra long message today, but I'm sure it has answered a lot of questions and have helped you along the way, and I know for some it is incredibly long, but unfortunately most of these messages that I bring through, you will have to get used to having time or making time for. Invest in that which will reinvest in you. Would you rather spend hours of the day allowing your energy to be abused and polluted and used and misused by things that do not grow you, whereas you can take a concentration of your energy and invest it in that which will recharge you, revitalize you, and give you a teaching or a blessing of some kind. And I am not the only channel. I do not say that you must leave everything to spend time here, but I am saying that the length of these messages are a good investment, as are other righteous channels, channels that give you something to take from, to grow from, to learn from, because we are all working synergistically in our own skill, our own talent, our own expertise, and doing it from light you have the discernment you have the choice on what you read what you listen to what you eat where you are who you talk to and so on and i thank you from my heart for trusting for believing for supporting and doing what we've done perhaps a lot of you may ask but spirit says point out this particular frame i purchased from somebody that was doing this to earn a living. It's not perfect. And she said to me, this is my very first one and it's a trial one and it does have a little bit of imperfection because I ran out of the tile. And I said to her, even imperfection is perfect. And so I supported her and I bought this very first piece of creation that she had done. And it is beautiful and I have it for about 15 years. And it sits in the archway between my living room and my dining room. So everyone that enters and partakes of meal or is in that space of energy is always being graced by this beautiful energy. You would see the shield, this is where the demon is reflecting. I did not say it at the beginning. Spirit has asked me to, to bring it to you either at the end or the beginning, but here I am. Showing you how strong and powerful Michael is. And here he carries an arrow or spear, which transforms into a shield of light magically so you have the power to use your shield your sword your spear of light however you feel comfortable to do so and with that I love you I thank you I will be next doing a reading on Prince William 
There are many to do, but as I receive permission to do them in the order they need to be done, or for the need and vibration it needs to be done, I will bring them through. I'm not really sure at this point what it will be about, but look out for that, that will be coming next. Thank you, I bless you, I love you, in light, until next, go well.